Welcome back to another BizBite episode of the E-Commerce Badassery podcast. I'm your host, Jessica Totillo Coster. If you haven't already heard, Instagram released a new feature a couple of weeks ago that lets you pin up to three posts at the top of your profile. It's pretty cool, and according to members of the E-Commerce Badassery Facebook group, this feature was ripped from TikTok. Ah, uh, competition ain't in grand. Yes, actually it is. For users and consumers, competition is good because it forces innovation and progress. And on a platform like Instagram, it's pretty powerful because you typically have very little real estate when someone lands on your profile. So this gives you the opportunity to create a really great first impression and lets you control the narrative a little bit more. But what should you put there? Before we hop into some ideas, I do want to make sure you know that whatever you pin to the top of your feed will be removed from its original position. So if you have a highly curated grid, which according to the experts isn't at all necessary anymore, it is going to jack that grid up. But don't let that be a reason why you don't pin a really kick-ass post to the top of your feed, but I just didn't want you to be surprised. So if you were to head to my Instagram right now, at least if you're listening to this in real time, you'll see three posts pinned at the top. The first one is an intro to me. The second is my main lead magnet, the free resource library. And the third explains how people can work with me. My handle there is e-commerce badassery if you want to check them out and give me a follow while you're there. So what should you as a product-based business use those three spots for? Well, first I would say you certainly don't have to keep three static posts like I have. And in fact, I would say don't do that because they stay at the top of your feed all the time. So a returning visitor to your profile might not even realize that you have new and fresh content available. So I do recommend that you switch them up and you don't even necessarily use all three all the time. And if I ever get my ass in gear with Instagram, you'll see me switching them up too. Ultimately, I recommend that you use this as a tool to support whatever initiatives or goals you're focused on in your business at any given time and rotate them out. So for instance, we're currently in Q3 and I recommend that you focus on list growth in preparation of Q4. So you probably want to have a pinned post that encourages people to go sign up for your email list, whether it's through a lead generation quiz, a PDF download that you offer, or even just a discount off their first purchase. Definitely show that off. When you have new product releases or if you're currently in pre-launch mode where you're building that initial list, feature that in your pin post section. And if you don't have a specific product that you're focused on, maybe you don't have anything new releasing or you're not in pre-launch mode, then just feature a tried and true bestseller instead. And if you have multiple of them, you could put a carousel post there. You could put a reel there, a video. It doesn't matter what kind of post it is. You have a lot of options. And then don't forget about you and your brand story. We know people love to get to know the person behind the curtain. So don't be afraid to pin an intro post to you and what you do and why you do it. Just remember that when you're creating that content, and this is for any time, not just for your pinned post, is what's in it for them. Like you have to frame that. Yes, it's about you and why you do it, but like what's in it for them, the customer. And then maybe there's a time when you don't have any big marketing pushes going on in your business and there's really nothing specific that you're focusing on. In that case, I would just go through your archives and find a post that performed well in the past and try to align it to your current goals. So maybe you're looking at gaining more followers on Instagram. So find a post that brought you a lot of followers. Or maybe you're just trying to get more traffic to your website. So find a post that got a lot of link clicks. Maybe you're trying to grow your engagement. You know what I'm going to say, right? And if you don't feel like you have anything pin worthy, create it. Do a reel featuring your bestseller, post it on the top. Do a quick face to camera intro of you and your team, post it to the top. And when you're sitting down to plan out your future content, Think in terms of what you would want to feature there during that time and then create content specifically for it. But I'd love to know how you're using your pinned posts. If you are, shoot me a DM on Instagram and let me know. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you on the flip side, friend.